Hi, I'm Kim Sanders, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Terry Fagans. So when I walked into the Berryville campus in 1989, within days, I heard about Terry Fagans. And what I heard is she was tough, that she had high standards. And what I quickly found out, those standards were all around how she expected those boys in B3 dorm to be taken care of. People were not joking when they told me she was tough. Honestly, I was a little scared in the beginning. But then I spent years being a manager with her at Berryville, and then we really got to work together close when we were in the Winchester region together. She was our quality assurance supervisor, and I'll be honest, at that time as the executive director in Winchester, I don't think I could have done a good job without her. She helped us so much. She was someone you could count on. She was dedicated and she was committed and so grateful to have the opportunity to work for her. The other thing that I loved about Terry Fagans is that infectious laugh. I have so many wonderful memories of operating team meetings with her and that whole crew and gang and we just laughed and she was always up for some fun and some practical jokes. So I wish Terry the best retirement ever. You have worked so hard and you deserve every minute of relaxation you can get. Love you, Terry. Hi, I'm Kevin Bako. Um, I've worked with Terry for five to six years, uh, both at Berryville mainly and a little bit in Winchester and here at uh, Shawnee. Um, I can't say enough nice things about Terry. She's always been so supportive, um, always willing to answer any questions, um, give advice. I know I picked her brain many, many times over the years. Um, the one thing that I can say to you is enjoy your well-deserved retirement. Um, you did great things for Grafton. We appreciate it. Um, now go have fun. And I'm still gonna try and bug you every once in a while. Hi, I'm Scott Zeter. I'm formerly the Chief Clinical Officer of Grafton and uh, I'm now in a consulting role with the company. I was really excited to be invited to talk a little bit about Terry Fagans. I was uh, a close colleague of Terry's for 13 years throughout my entire time at Grafton. We met first at Graydon Manor where we had just merged with a not-for-profit in Leesburg and about Three minutes into my first meeting with Terry, I realized this is somebody who I share a lot in common with. She was sarcastic, mildly pessimistic, and I think just really insightful. So Terry and I uh, spent a lot of time together over those 13 years, but it was in a very strange way. She was kind of my confessor in the organization. She was my friend, and she was one of the few people that I could approach as a leader who would honestly and without hesitation tell me exactly the truth from her perspective at any moment. And it was the most valuable thing in the world because she was somebody I could touch base with and get the real deal, as opposed to my own preconceptions or my own thoughts about what was going on. And she wasn't at all hesitant to tell me when I was dead wrong, and she did that a lot. I was racking my brain about what kind of specific funny story I could say about Terry, but any of those stories would offend somebody within Grafton because we were constantly critical and whining and complaining to each other when we would meet to check the weather. I won't go into details on that. Uh, so we won't go into any particular funny stories, but know that that relationship I had with Terry was one of the most valuable friendships and collegial relationships I've ever had professionally. I wish her the absolute best in her retirement. I know that she will make the best of it because she makes the best of everything she's in. And to me, she represented the best of Grafton in many ways. Because despite the fact that she had gallows humor and she was, uh, you know, sarcastic, as I said, she really honestly at every moment would give anything to the clients that we served and give anything to the staff she really was willing to go so far and above and beyond the call of duty to meet the needs of the people we serve that it was just 
it was just unbelievable to me. And the can-do atmosphere that she created around her and the insistence that we would be good at what we do and we do the best we could do, that was something that permeated everything she did. So at the end of the day, uh, as, as I said, Terry represented to me the best of the Grafton culture. And it's really my honor and my pleasure to, to give this testimony. Hi, my name is Sam Butler. I'm a case manager at Grafton. Um, I've worked with uh, Terry Fagans for about 37 years in a variety of different um, roles. Um, one thing I can tell you about Terry is that she is a person that will always listen to anything you might have to say. Um, she's a great listener. Um, you know, when I first started in Berryville um, back in 1987, um, Terry was one of the first people that I met. Uh, she was a supervisor on the campus and um, she kind of took me and a couple of other guys under her wing, um, so to speak, even though she worked in another unit. Um, I can tell you one of the most interesting times I spent with Terry was when I was doing some extra work over in one of her dorms and I wasn't really familiar with the kids and she told me, um, Mr. B, you're gonna be okay, don't worry about it. You're young, you got enough energy to handle it. And I'm gonna tell you, after that first day working there, I told her, I said, I don't think I ever wanna come back to that home because they really ran me ragged that day. But um, she sat down with me and talked to me a lot about, you know, everything that went on with regards to that. And I really appreciated um, her guidance in working in, with that population. Um, um, the biggest story that I have with Terry is I wanted to buy some jewelry and um, someone had told me that her family owned a jewelry store. So I was like, I'll get my first piece of jewelry, finally. So she told me, she hooked me up with her brother and um, I went to Charlestown um, and went to his store and um, he made me a gold um, pendant that had my football number on it. And I know I wore that thing probably every day for the next year. Um, um, and that was one of the pieces that I really was proud of and I appreciated Terry for that. But um, in closing, Terry is just a wonderful person. Um, she always listens. She will always give you her perspective as well. There's always two sides of every um, coin um, and she kind of puts everything in perspective for you. So that's one thing I like about Terry. So she's surely missed. I think my first introduction with Terry was around 2007 at the Berryville campus when she became the HIM supervisor over all of us. I think the thing that I love most about her is her huge personality. You always know when Fagans is in the house. Um, she has a wicked sense of humor. When she laughs, you can't help but laugh around with her and she definitely kept work interesting. Terry is wonderful. She's been a big support system to me. She was actually the reason why I got into QA. When the um, opening came in the department, in true Terry fashion, she marched over to my desk, slapped the application down and said, you will apply for this position. No arguing with her when she sets her mind to something. So um, she has been a great sounding board for me. She supported me, cheered me on, um, just been an overall great mentor. But I think the one thing that really, really is gonna remember most about Terry is her dedication to the people that we serve. She has always been a big, big influencer or making sure that they get the services that they need to be successful and that she always, always was a big, big support that they get the respect and the dignity that they deserve. If anything with Terry, that's gonna be her legacy to Grafton.